Shalom, all praises go to the Most High Yahweh, Basham Yahshua, Basham Yahweh, but that's the Balangas unto the Elder Apostles, a great milestone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Now, I wanted to do a video about this topic over here, which is the book of Genesis, chapter 2, concerning the rivers and concerning the Garden of Eden. Uh, eastward of the Garden of Eden, by the way, it's not the Garden of Eden, it's eastward of the Garden of Eden. So, now it says here, Genesis chapter 2, verse 8. Right, wait, before I go on, I want to make this clear. This is not a thing about accuracy. This has nothing to do with your salvation. It's basically, you know, mm, uh, be not ignorant of a small thing, small or, or big thing. So it says here, the book of uh, Sarah, Ecclesiasticus, in the Apocrypha, be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small so but i'm um, read this also now this is the book of sirach ecclesiasticus in the apocrypha chapter 3 verse 21 seek not out things that are too hard for thee neither search the things that are above thy strength but what is commanded thee which is teaching these scriptures to the lost sheep of the house of israel right it's not about 100 percent these locations and stuff like that i might put something in your head but I would rather you not focus on this. I'd rather you focus on... It would be better if you... Not me, uh, not I rather. It would be better if you focused on the salvation of the Israelites. Because it says... Um, rather... Make it... It's in the it's in the apocrypha. Here, second Genesis chapter nine, <laughs> just one letter, man, just one letter, and I know they do this on purpose because the Google is designed to not show results of the apocrypha unless look. I just typed one 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 letter, man. Look here, the one letter, it didn't come out, it didn't come. Just just one freaking letter, man. Well, let me see here. No, no, no. It, it doesn't come out, right? They're blocking the apocrypha on purpose. Look, one letter. And then I click this. Now it pops up. You have to understand we are using their system <clears throat> that they control. This is their platform, just like YouTube. That's why I can't upload all videos that I want and say what I want because they're going to flag my videos. And no, I do not monetize my videos, so if you see commercials on my videos, they did that on purpose because I never put no ads on my thing, on my videos, because <laughs> this is the Lord's work. It's not my work, my man. I ain't trying to get money off of this. You know, what I'm trying to do is get my people uh, the hell up out of this land so we can go back to our land. And how do you do that? How do I do? How do I try and do that? By this. Acts 4. No, no, no. Matthew 4. 24, 12, if I'm correct, or was it 14? And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. We're, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the end of this society. Just like in the book of Acts chapter 1, verse 6, it says, When they therefore will come together, the disciples, they ask of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to israel not to the whole world um i don't want to share this kingdom with a cave monkey they hate me with a with a east indian with a with a with a chinese or japanese no they have their kingdom i saw this meme a long time ago here I saw this evolution uh, uh, the thing. I, I, there's so many things that that are on um, that are on the uh, uh, internet and stuff like that. Memes about us. Let me see evolution memes of races. I can't find it. Wait. Here you go. Right. So what they did was this. They made a meme. European goes from this to this. Uh, America goes from this to this. Actually, what the fuck? They said black Americans. Not them, because you can see them 
uh, like like some ghetto gangster niggas and stuff like that. So uh, let me see, Japan is this, Africa is this, and stuff like that. But uh, this is talking about us. Hey, where, where, where did it go? Mm. They said that this was us. You know? But anyway, anyway. I know what I know what I saw. I often used it, but I think they changed it. Anyway. Cause cause he, he got that he got a hat on like a gangster shit and stuff like that. But anyway. So they hate us. Um, and that's just one image. But anyway, let me go on. So for Acts chapter one verse seven. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know but basically it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his hand uh, in his own power. But ye will but ye will receive power after that the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Right. So which are the issue the lost sheep of the house of Israel are scattered. So yeah, anyway, coming back to over here. Second Genesis chapter nine, verse thirteen. And therefore be not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is for, and for whom the world is created. So why was the world created? The world was created for the righteous, and who are the righteous? The Israelites. Whether you believe it or not. And you can find that right here in this uh let me see. Second Esther chapter three verse last verse. Um, it says here, Second Esther chapter three, verse thirty five. Weigh thou therefore our wickedness from the Israelites, now in the balance, and theirs also that dwell in the world, which are the heathen nations. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel? Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Thou shalt find that Israel by name has kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. We are the one that keep it. Even though we break it, yes, but they have the knowledge. Look, they, they, they use the Bible to marry man, man, woman, woman. They use the Bible to, to justify flying reindeers, man. Bunnies that lay eggs. They use the Bible again there. They, they say that's a uh, Jesus, Jesus woke up. And then and then they lie about the other Jesus was born. It's, 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 it's some satanic stuff, man. And uh, the whole world is going along with it. Even the, the way that the map looks upon the planet Earth. This is not how the map looks and they know it. But the Asian people don't change it. The, the the Japanese don't I mean you know Chinese uh, Japanese uh, Russians uh, people in uh, just all over the world uh, all over the world people do not change this map even though they know they know that this map is fake they know it I uploaded this video before I am making this video right now so yeah but anyway so uh, they all are against us but so what should we do 22 Sirach chapter the three verse twenty two was commanded thee, think thereupon with reference to the heavenly Father, for it is not needful to sh for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. So certain things is not needed for us to, to know. The Lord says, so. "Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are shown unto thee than men understand." Right, which are these scriptures? We understand we understand these scriptures better than a lot of people, because the Lord the Lord did that. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion hath overthrown their judgment. So, what I'm trying to do here is not actually to you know, to start something. You know, I'm just showing you that what we know of the map today is a lie, but we use it to our uh, advantage. We just use it to edify but just keep in mind the world map is not how you think that it looks like it's their vision the world is uh, the history is written by the conqueror not the conquered right so they're lying to you that's what i'm trying to tell you they're lying to you but anyway so let me read this genesis chapter 2 first mm, eight and Yahweh the power planted a great yeah, seven 
And Yahweh the power formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, which is knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It was wisdom, actually, right? And man became a living soul. And Yahweh the power planted a garden eastward in Eden. So Eden is the planet Earth, but eastward of it. The whole, the whole, the whole Earth is paradise. The book of Ecclesiastes uh, shows you that. But there's evil in paradise also. That's why the Lord said, "As it is in heaven, so shall it be on Earth." Because then it will be perfect. That shows you that the that the heavens, there is no war there. There never had been. The heavens on Earth, there is war because the, the white man's heaven is the black man's hell. That's what they say because he is in his heaven right now he can do whatever he wants he can plant drugs in my uh in my backpack or something like that and then you know off to jail he did it before he'd been doing it for a few hundred years now and there he put the man who he had formed whom he had formed and out of the ground made yahweh the power to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food the tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil which goes because um, it goes into people and the tree of knowledge of good and evil it's talking about uh, philosophies but yeah I'll, I'll do another video about that verse 10 and a river went out of Eden to guard to water the garden and what what is that you have something called the fertile crescent where is that here the fertile crescent here the fertile crescent but nowadays this land is not fertile anymore because the Lord cursed the land you know because the people that are, that are upon it are uh, you know they got Tel Aviv which is uh, the, the, the gay city they got a lot of crazy things over there the wars and all that they have. fertile means very fertile of course and crescent means formed like a moon uh, a half moon circle actually half circle right just like a fertile woman, she gets pregnant very quick. Because back in the days, there was oh, men lovingly trees over here and and giant uh, vegetables and stuff like that. Like in the book of Numbers, giant fruits and giant animals and giant people. By the way, the book of Deuteronomy chapter nine shows you that they were giants, big people. And, uh, okay, the book of Numbers also shows you, shows you that. I think Numbers 13 and Deuteronomy 9, 9. Deuteronomy chapter 9 and Numbers chapter 13, if I'm correct. Right. So, this is the fertile crescent, as they call it today. But this is what it's talking about when you're talking about the garden, eastward of the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden, which is Eden is the whole planet Earth. Let me see what was I again. Right here. Right. And a river, first 10, Genesis 2 and 10. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden. And from thence it was parted and became into four heads, right? The name of the first is Pison. So, right, right, right. That is it which compasseth the whole land of Havilah, where there is gold. So, I checked out Pison and I was thinking to myself, like, okay, and by the way, who's Havilah? Havilah. Avila, Genesis chapter 10, verse 7. And the sons of Cush, Seba, and Havila, and Sabta, and Amaa, and Zab. Uh, uh, and the sons of Raama, Zeba, and the Dun. Okay, Zeba and the Dun. Okay. Right, so where is the land of the Dun? It's in the Middle East. Here. Here. Here is Seba. And the land of the Dun is here. But let me get a better... Let me get a better picture. Here is Zaba, and here is the Dun. They spell it different, but this is a more accurate picture because Ham was in this region, but actually entire Africa, actually so-called Africa. But uh, shit, I'm trying to get a better picture, man. This is ridiculous. Mm. But day of the Dun, uh, ancient map. 
ancient location. Hmm. Wow. Okay. And this one then. Okay, Sheba. Where's the Dun? Hmm. Kind of irritating. Here, the Dun and just 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 know that it's this region. This region is is what it is, right? Okay. There's just a room here. Here, as you can see here, the Dun here. It's blurry. Okay, the Dun and Timon. You have Timon also, or Tima, but it's Timon. So you had those places. Okay. Okay. Cool. So. Right, Seba and Havila and stuff like that. So Havila is a son of Cush. So now I'm going to go over here, Havila. Right, right. Let me let me read this. Right. So it says here. It says that it uh, it goes to the land of Havila, which is Pison, right? Okay. So called Pison. They say that this is Pison, and they say that this is Gihon. Okay. Let me just read on. Right. The name of the first river is Pison. That is it which compasses the whole land of Havila. It compasses it, right? Where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. There is Bedellium and the Onyx Stone. And the name of the second river is Gihon. The same is it that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia. So, okay, so now I checked out where is Ethiopia. Ethiopia is here and as you can see here were the other sons of Cush but Ethiopia is Cush because the word Ethiopia doesn't exist Ethiopia is a Greek word Ethiopia is a Greek word and it doesn't necessarily mean like a uh, Cush it actually means burnt face so who was an Ethiopian to these Greeks everybody that was dark skin it was not necessarily only them because these people are Kawasha which is Kush burnt faces everybody was called a burnt face to these uh, to these people even Zeus they used to call Zeus Ethiops right which is the the black face one which shows you where they got their gods from but anyway um, which are Hamite Ham, uh, uh, so l l l l let me let me leave that I did that in another picture so of a video so I'm gonna leave that right right so and 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 also let me see uh, Egypt is also a Greek word which comes from the Greek these people did not did not found the names of the world they did not found anything they started to name the lands after their selves meaning their meanings their ways I mean in Japan what what is What is the real name of Japan? Nihon or Nippon. What is Nihon? Nihon Koku. Koku. Nihon Koku. The state of Japan. Right? Nippon Koku. Right. Kokoku. Right. So it's it shows you that they're not Japanese people. They're Nihon uh, Mina. Something like that. Nihon Mina. Something like that. Right. So they name things after their own will which is in the book of uh, Psalms 49 and 11 right so same thing with Egypt same thing with um, Ethiopia which is Kush Ethiopia Genesis chapter 2 which is uh, 35 Hebrew 35 68 Hebrew 35 68 Kawash which is so called burnt black whatever uh, burnt skin black whatever uh, I'm not sure if that is what it means but I do know that uh, uh, Ethiops means burnt face descendants from Cush okay so now Hebrew it, you see it is Cush this is Cush so when it says Ethiopia it doesn't say Ethiopia it says Cush that's what it says they change the word into something that fits them. Same thing with the word. Um, what's it again? Egypt. Egypt, which is Hebrew four seven one four, and you click on it. 
and then it goes into okay whatever right so but 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 what it what it says is matazarayam which is mizraim and if you type in mizraim here remember uh, hebrew 4714 so 4714 and then you click on 4714 there you have it again mizraim is mentioned four times in the bible but egypt is mentioned m multiple more times because they felt like changing it so that it can confuse you to, to, to a certain degree because now you will not associate Egypt with a Hamite with a son of Ham that's why they started to do it because they're smart like that devils are always smart they're not gonna come to you with evil in, like evil but they're gonna come to you with evil intentions yes but they're not gonna come to you evil just like how you have here Edom they know that this is the brother of uh, Israel they know this the brother of Jacob but when it comes to like the uh, the obvious destruction of Edom then they change the name into Idumia and then you have four scriptures four scriptures that shows you that Idumia is going to get destroyed and they are the people of the Lord's curse and the Lord is going to fucking exterminate them but they do not change, do not do not uh, um, say this one obvious like for obvious reasons because people are going to start having questions like hey what what why is Edom going to be destroyed you know but then again they did leave it with uh, Obadiah chapter one verse eighteen uh, Edom will be the will be exterminated that's Obadiah chapter one verse eighteen you can pause the video and uh, click on these and stuff like that or read it for yourself I mean. And then in the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, there's only one chapter, verse 18, you will see that there will be no more remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord had spoken. Oh yeah, it says Esau right there. Hey, it does say Esau. It doesn't say Edom. Yeah, it says Esau. Oh, okay. There shall be no... Uh, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau for the Lord had spoken it so clearly there is one race that the Lord is going to destroy uh, I'll, 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 I'll leave it up to you to figure out which, which race that is who has raped, robbed, murdered the entire planet earth all, uh, gave all races racist names like racial slur names and stuff like that rape, robbed, murder everybody stole gold, land, silver anything, murder people, crazy shit did the uh, um, uh, did Tuskegee experiments on syphilis and stuff like that did the uh, gynecology yeah no you're not know, going spell it gynecology on slaves who did this shit which race did it was it the was it the Martians was it was it was it was it the fish people maybe, maybe it, it was Spider-Man and, and friends no, I don't want to blame Spider Man. <laughs> let me see, let me see who else did I put. <laughs> let me just blame somebody else. That's Spider Man, you dope. Right, right. But anyway, was it, was it the teenage? I like, te I like turtles too, but shit. I, I just blame someone. Let, let me just give you suggestions of who, who you should think. I mean, you know, uh, who you think it uh, should be. Yeah, right. Who, who do you think is guilty? But anyway, let's, let's go on. Now, and they're going to pay for that. They never paid for that. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the judgment of the Heavenly Father. You see, I'm, 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 I'm judging him. I'm uh, bringing him to court. And the Heavenly Father is going to judge him. But anyway, so they change names. That's the point of all this uh, showing. You know, these words and stuff like that. They play around with the words. But the Heavenly Father will guide you to where you will see the truth. And then you go out and teach the others. And be like, hey, watch out for the devil. <laughs> He's the devil. And then you go to the book of John chapter 10. It says that, and, um, you know, the wolf, speaking about the wolf, and, and you need to tell them, you need to tell them the thief is coming. <laughs> the Lord is the good shepherd, you know, but uh, you warned them, and not for, not as a hireling. Where is that? Here, verse 11, uh, John 10, 11. But he that is an hireling and not the shepherd, who's the, whose own the sheep are not, see it, the wolf coming. I'm seeing the wolf, and I'm telling you, like, it's the Edomites, man. It's the bad people. G get away from these, but... <laughs> And leave it to sheep and flee it, but to save myself. 
no, but but the others they're gonna put themselves in trouble. You, you know, but but the Lord is gonna protect us, so we don't worry about no trouble around here. Around here, and the wolf catcheth them, mm -hmm. and scattereth the sheep, which are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The hireling fleeth because he is an hireling and careth not for the sheep. The Yahweh Shai is the good I, uh, is the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am and am known of mine, right? Because it says right here. Hmm? He sent his people to go and do it. Uh, Luke 10 and 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. So if you listen to the men of the Lord, you listen to the Lord. If you hate the men of the Lord, then you hate the Lord. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. And if you hate the Lord, then you hate the Heavenly Father. So you need to watch out who you despise. Right? But anyway, there are many false prophets. So hey. But it's up to you to figure out which the real, which it, which one is the real one of the Lord and which one is not, right? Okay, so right. Let me go back to over where I was again. Hmm. Oh yeah, the river. Right, wait, wait. Let me see here. Which river was I looking at? Gihon. Okay. So it says here, uh, uh, Genesis chapter two and thirteen, and the name of the second river is Gihon. The same is it that compasseth the whole land of Ethiopia. Okay, so I look that up. Ethiopia. Which one compasseth the whole land of Ethiopia? The only one that I can figure out is the Nile River. And by the way, you see it comes, it goes here into the sea again, right? And this one also goes into the sea, so that's not a river. But uh, you have here is a picture, which I think I have here. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this. So they say Gihon is here, but I would rather say that Gihon is here. Why? Because, and like I said, this is not for salvation's sake. This is just the get out of your mind that what they're showing you is 100% the truth. Because there's so many different, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> there's so many different definitions of, wait, let me get some water. Right, there's so many different explanations on what is what and what is what not here they say this is the river Pison, but it could be because you know I don't know Havila where, where was he at so concerning that a hundred percent I'm not sure but I will go off of the things that will make sense according to the scriptures right so going back to over here so it says here that here is Pison, which is then therefore according to them this one uh, compassed the whole land of Havila. Okay, cool. But let's go to this one over here. And the name of the second river is Gihon. The same is it that compassed the whole land of Ethiopia. So which one is that? The only one that I can find is this one. Um, this one. This is Ethiopia, which is the land of Cush. And this one is the one that compassed it. But there, I have another picture, which goes from here comes here and then it goes through here but uh, you have here called the Suez Canal see right you see this thing over here this thing is actually kind of uh, is man-made this is this this region over here because it would make sense that this river goes here it went went back in the days why because I'm gonna show you which river goes through the land, uh, which river goes through Ethiopia? The Nile. That's what it says right there. And then I typed it again, but then I click pictures, and then it shows you that it goes from here. Da, 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 right, so, well, it actually goes here into, but I'll show you why I believe it comes from here. Why? Because you have something called man-made dams and beavers and stuff. So, dams, as you can see here, right? And what do dams do? They bring drought to certain places and, and, and water to certain other places because they're not natural. They're man-made. And these people don't know anything, especially Edomites. They do things for money. But here, the Suez Canal is a human-made waterway that cuts north-south across the whatever, Suez in Egypt. Da, 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 da. And what can they do with it? So this, the whole Suez Canal here is fake. It's fake. So we're fake with with uh, they they orchestrated it. So 
So therefore, it would be more convincing that literally that that thing did come here, that land. And the way that it compasseth about uh, Egypt is here, Ethiopia, sorry. This is Ethiopia. And then therefore, here is where then the river comes and it goes around, it compasses it. It compasses it. Right. So what did they do here? Hmm. Check this out. Now, you have uh, why Russia destroyed the world's for the world's fourth biggest lake. Why? Because of oil. Oh, sorry. On um ca cotton. Here, I'll put this link in the description box. Please watch it because it will explain to you what type of things these so-called Caucasian people are doing in order to destroy the rest of the world for their money sake for their gains sake a lot of people are basically starving to death going into basically drought because of the richer countries the, the Caucasian countries the Edomite countries they have the power to shut down and build um, um, dams in order for them to basically steal the water from the people downstream right because the water comes out of the mountains as you can see here so the water comes from this region over here all the way just in the mountains over there and then it flows all the way down to there that both of their governments would go bankrupt they would go bankrupt because they all think about money this is what they so they destroy a whole ecosystem just crazily like just man if you see that shit you're gonna get angry i got angry you know what i'm saying i got, I got furious Anyway, so uh, but they they that they they're not only murdering people for for gain because they're starving them to death with water, because if you don't have no water, you don't have no crops. You don't you don't have water for your crops, and then if you don't have crops, you don't have water for for food, and if you don't have food, your your your, your belly button is going to touch your, your the back of your rib, your spine, you know. So, what are they doing? They stealing the water from this lake over here, which is bigger than. Of Lake Superior in North America, and of course, the Caspian Sea directly next door. This is the fourth biggest sea, but uh, this country, Ariel's, Ariel Sea, I mean, this, this uh, lake is bigger than the country. For most of human history, the Aral Sea in Central the only fifth largest right. lake in the world at about the same size as the U.S. state of West Virginia. It's about the same size as West Virginia, which is a country. It might seem like a, they call it a state, but this is a country. Just like how Africa is a continent, and all those little countries within it are actually uh, countries. You know, then they're, they're not they're, they're not called states or whatever. They're called countries because they have sizes of basically countries, man. I'm telling you, right? But anyway, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. So what are they doing? If you go here, no, 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 wait a minute, I have it somewhere here, here. If you go here, Arrow Lake before and after what did they do what did they do for gain's sake for money's sake and also just to kill people because they want to reduce the population anyway so you have these type of pictures that are popping up where is it i just saw it these type of pictures and stuff he, he can stand there now because it used to be an ocean over there filled with a lot of fish for people to actually live off of and stuff like that you know what i'm saying but what did they do in the 1960s, it was like this, and by the time it's <clears throat> we're on 2023 right now, by the time by 2014, it was this. <clears throat> but they did that for gain's sake, for also to to get rid of people. So my point of showing you this, is see, it turns it turned into a desert. It turned into a desert. That's what they did. It used to be full of fish here. You ask them, where the fish go? Well, they did. And then the, the, the whatever the, whatever man. Okay, so what what did they do? Uh, five wave beavers keep our uh, ecosystem healthy. So right. So if you destroy a beaver dam or if you build a dam, you're gonna destroy ecosystem because this is what beavers do and why you should never destroy a beaver dam. He said, why do plants around the beaver dam have access to more water? Guess what, genius, the heavenly father created these animals to be smarter than you concerning those type of issues and stuff like that <laughs> but these these cave people they know and and uh that's why the lord is going to punish them even harder because they know but they still destroy the earth destroy them which race is doing this 
which race is doing this you have the so-called chinese you have the so the, the caucasian is the first first and foremost because they're the they're the tech tech guys right and the chinese the japanese all the people on the planet earth that's working around with technology and stuff like that those are the destroyers of the earth but the caucasian people is doing it the worst because they go to places and they murder millions of uh, chickens and stuff like that millions of chickens meanwhile back in the days our people they used to only hunt for food and stuff like that they didn't store millions of chickens in in one place and gather them together only just to make money you know what i'm saying and and they didn't shut out everybody else that also wanted to farm chickens so that <clears throat> it would be evenly spread across the, the 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 land now there's only a few farmers and stuff like that and now they can take those they not can they took those farmers here in the netherlands they took those farmers there farms and stuff like that and now they give us their food which is fucking gmo you know what i'm saying that's what they're doing because back that's the same thing that they did with with stalin what did with the farmers in russia but anyway people people are uh, too 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 young to remember that uh, and and even if you're too young i'm not i'm not old but i saw videos so that's what that's what i mean uh, nowadays children adult teenagers cannot even look at analog clocks yeah man go Go, go Google it. You're going to see. You're going to find out. Uh, YouTube it. You will see. <clears throat> if I remember, I'll put the link in the description box. Let me see. Teenagers. Here. I just looked at it today, by the way. As you can see, it's purple. Or, yeah, purple. Yeah. I'll, I'll put this link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. Right. So, what are they doing? Uh, what was that in my... Mm, I forgot what I was saying. Revelation chapter eleven, first. Wait, wait, what was I was saying? The people. Oh yeah. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, shit, I forgot. Okay, let me just read on. So it says here. Okay, this gives the uh, this gives that water more time to soak. Wait, wait, wait. Let me. Beavers build dams, dig channels, and channels and change small streams into broad wetland areas. They're oh yeah. No, no, that's not what I was saying. Their pond and channels, in particular, slow down water and spread it out in the uh, in the landscape. This gives the water more time to soak into the soil, which ultimately keeps plants green and lush even during periods of drought. So, beaver dams actually prevent drought. Uh, not wait, let me say it better. They actually water the land even though there is a drought. So it still keeps it going good. That's how the Heavenly Father created. Oh yeah, uh, our people used to hunt back in the days for food. Not oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So you have an area like over this, like it's real big, right? Like a real country, right? And if you have only one farmer over here, and he has to feed all these people over here, it's going to be a problem. But uh, if 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 this country is this big, and then you have here a farmer, and then you have here a farmer, and then you have here a farmer, just people that do farming stuff for themselves and stuff like that, and then they get bigger because you know they uh, uh start growing, uh, uh, having more chickens and stuff like, and just animals and stuff like that, and then it would be evenly spread, and then people wouldn't be needing thousands and millions of cows to slaughter and animals and stuff like that why because this guy over here he will notice that hey not all my cows and chickens are being bought why because somebody else over here doesn't want to come all the way over here and buy your stuff so he stays here in his own region why because his region has chicken too maybe if he likes your uh, things your fruits, your vegetables, whatever, then he will come to you and be like, hey, your, your taste better than this one, for stuff like that, right? But, and the people of this region over here, of that land, they don't need to do that because they already have their own farmers over here and stuff like that, right? So, <clears throat> just giving you an example of a fact, but what do these devils do? They actually hog up the market and then they're the only one that can sell you food and if you want to sell a chicken or something like that or whatever type of cattle or whatever, even vegetables even vegetables then they want you to have a permit and if you don't have it they're gonna take your shit basically robbery right they're gonna take everything you have and then they're gonna put you in jail too, and fine you too give you a ticket like you pay money you know because uh, because you you did divide their their rule of shit you know what i'm saying so 
that's what they're doing and they want to monopolize though they not not they wanna they already monopolize the entire uh, globe in the countries where they rule and also in the countries that they took over because uh, they put up the puppet leaders and then now the people are fighting in, in Niger and uh, certain countries in Africa they're fighting against these puppet leaders and now they want to go to war with them talking about hey man you touch my food I'm gonna get you he's touching your money not your food devil but anyway so these are the things that they're doing right so going over here right so um, let me see here right so this is what they're doing Revelation chapter 11 verse 18 and the nations were angry and thy wrath has come the wrath of the only father and the time of the dead that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets the dead are the ones that are dead mentally and the ones that are dead physically the, the heavenly father is going to wake us up mentally wake up wake us out of a dead state which is the book of ezekiel chapter 37 verse 1 until verse 14 and then you have the people that are really actually dead those are the ones that are going to be waking up uh, to the resurrections of the heavenly father his son yahweh and you also yeah and you also have the heathen nations that are dead because they don't know what what the hell is going on so they're going to get woken up too because the lord is going to reveal to them who the devil is upon the planet earth uh, Isaiah chapter 25 verse 7 and I and he the heavenly father will destroy in this mountain in this government the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations who did that well it's only one race that ever did that Revelation chapter 20 verse 3 uh, no 8 3 is good too but 8 um, 7 and when a thousand years are expired Satan shall be loosed out of his prison which is in the time of Europe he was shut up for a thousand years from 325 AD because think about it think about it how come you never hear, hear, hear nothing of the so-called Caucasian race in the year uh, 400 500 600 700 800 uh, 1000 uh, 1100 uh, 1200 1300 1400 that's about the time that you hear about them and then what is the 1400 I don't even know how to spell that Renaissance the 1400 the 14th century or about the 13th century or 14th century what does it mean rebirth rebirth from what from what the Roman Empire that fell because they went into the caves around uh, nine one nine one which is uh, and, and 325 wait, well it fell there but it started to fall around 1900 wait wait uh, sorry not 1900 uh, AD 1900. it started to fall around this time why because why did the Roman Empire fell because it was spread out thin and all that just crazy stuff corruption the division of the empire nowadays you have uh, the germanic tribes were the israelites well, we were there but then um it was also i don't know what you, what would you call him again september severius he's in he's a so-called black man again and he had a he had a so-called light-skinned woman but anyway so um, yeah corruption and division here than ever than ever before right so when they say america is now more divided than ever before don't think that they're talking about us racism is sky high no america was built on racism it was built on division it was built on dividing each other and stuff like that the native americans that's the afro slaves and stuff like that it was always on segregation separation apartheid which is the same thing that these devils of dutch Netherlands did in uh, South Africa they went all the way to another person's country and set up apartheid which is separation and then the, the Americans did the same the Edomites in America did the same thing too they went all the way over there in America and then they put division and separation between them and the Native Americans and then they put apartheid there too it's the same race the same ammo the same things that they're doing have been doing for centuries now for centuries right anyway so uh, yeah, I'm going into other topics, but anyway, uh, 
Revelation chapter 20 verse 8 and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth Gog and Magog to gather them together to battle for World War 3 the number of whom is as the sand of the sea so they're deceiving the people in order for them to go to war there's a lot of videos out there that show you that what these Caucasian people are doing they're deceiving other nations into fighting wars that they want all the wars are provided them and and, and, and the Pearl Harbor uh, the, the the Vietnam War the um, Libya War oh, weapons of math and something and then afterward they found no weapons of math oops 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 oh. 9-11 also everything could be could have been prevented uh, but they don't want it they want the wars to come out which is good because that shows you that the Heavenly Father is going to destroy them for the lying deceiving trickery that these Edomites are doing and have been doing for centuries and centuries upon centuries right so uh, this one is the land that composite Hava no 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 sorry uh, uh, Kush the land of Kush where is it again let me see here right Right, it, it compasses here, so so the land of uh, Ethiopia, mm -hmm. right? That one, and also what I wanted to say concerning this is so when you understand this, then you will understand what they did here. They destroyed ecosystems, man, they destroyed the stuffing out of that. So, this is what they're doing, and this is the same thing that they did with the Suez Canal. They made something there, man made, and therefore they, they ruptured this region. You know, that's why, that's why when you see the Suez Canal now. Let me see something here. You see this. You see pictures of this. You'd be like, how can anybody live here? It's dead. Yeah, what do you think? Huh? Why do you think? I just gave you a hint. I just gave you a hint what they do over here. They do this for money. And why was the Zueska? How much money goes to the Zueska? Now, how much money goes through Zueska Canal? Oh, that's how I spell Canal. No, no, daily, no, no, daily, daily, daily. How much? How many millions? Here, thirteen million. Daily revenues are fifteen million or thirteen million. That's that's that that's reasons for them to fucking kill everything that's living in there that that region. That's that's reason for them. Shit. Thirteen million. Shit. That's the reason. And guess what? This is the same reason that's here millions of dollars just watch this video it's very good i like this channel i like this channel very much this guy has uh, very great um, in-depth things and stuff like that didn't y'all even know that when the ukraine war was going on that there was a war in azerbaijan and uh and um uh, uh, what's that other country again i forgot the name this is some 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 kind of kiddish town thing whatever There was a war going on. Yeah, yeah, not this one. Mm. They're in Syria. This is that video that I want you to see. That I would like for you to see. What? Why Azerbaijan keep attacking Armenia? This is this was in the time from Ukraine. When? Okay, this is eleven months ago, right? When was Ukraine war? Um. Eh, started. Around uh, yeah, to the no 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 that's one. Twenty twenty two, Russian invasion of okay it was in February twenty twenty two, yeah. But uh, the war was going on. Wait wait, I know it was in in that time. But when did it really became um like a, a a mainstream pushed in the media like crazy, around this year, you know, there was many wars going on. I have a point, but but I, but I can't find it right now. Uh, let me see. I had a point. But there are many wars. Why the war in Ukraine is causing popular Okay, this one. Check. Mm, sure. This one was a year ago, and then this one was then, therefore. Mm, oh shit, oh shit. I didn't lose it, and I, I, I just can't. Just watch this video, and then you will see that it was in the time of um, when the Ukraine war was really going on. Listen, um, what was it? I made a video about it. Now I forgot what I said. What was it again? I was saying that. Oh yeah, the famine thing came. The so-called famine thing came, right? The so-called famine. Uh, when was the uh, sun 
sunflower, sunflower seed oil, and ooh, yeah. January 14, no, uh, 14 June. Mm -hmm. So called uh, this bullshit, by the way. There are 45 countries in Europe, right? 45, if I'm correct. Yeah, how many? 44 or 45? There are 44. Wasn't there 45? Hmm, no. They're 45. Okay, all 44 countries have all you need to do is this. Just just go check it out then. Go check. Go check. Then, then you need to type in every country in Europe every country in Europe just type in every country in Europe every country in Europe some of them got lands bigger than fucking countries man that's how big the some of these lands are with filled with sunflower seeds which is where they get the sunflower oil oil from uh, Romania uh, there's, there's so many countries I don't even know let me see Australia the, the, does Australia have it? oh yeah there you go Australia has it too and Australia has bigger land than, uh, than uh, <laughs> anyway, you have so many countries in this country, you have so many countries on this continent that have sunflower seed, and yet one country goes uh, into war, all of a sudden, sunflower seed oil is sort of skyrockets, they're lying, they're lying to you again, they're, that's what the devil does, I mean, why wouldn't they be the devil, I mean, why would they do good, why would they not lie to you, you see these people, <laughs> yeah, so everybody knows politicians are full of shit and yet you can't stop them because they got Satan on their, on their side you can't fight them because Satan is going to come with them weapons and he's going to blow you to smithereen and make you look bad he was a terrorist, he was beating on his wife he was raping his own kids and stuff like that we had to take him out, we had to take him out he was a danger, he was a threat to society and all these things, we just had to do it and everybody will yeah you're right, take him down America, America and fucking stupid like that man because, because they're the devil, you know why wouldn't they be doing the things that I said that they did, okay but anyway, this is the book of Genesis chapter uh, right, uh, 2 and 13 which is this, but, but I already showed that 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 would then therefore be this one over here, which would then therefore be because here it says Python but here it shows it says to be this, so which one is it? That's the, the, but that's one of the reasons why I made this video because here it says here it's Gideon here here it says Python is here it says Euphrates is here but like I said if you check out the one that compasseth the land of Cush it would then therefore be the Nile River right this one but the reason of me showing you all that about the dams and and stuff like that is because this portion of this land might not have been looking like how it looks now we do know that this is real because we walked over here we walked over here into uh, the land the promised land we walked and the these this region was filled with the uh, Hamites and then therefore what would then therefore be the eastward of the Garden of Eden this this region and what does Havilon mean Avalon means uh, circle well according to them but anyway so uh, what is the region mm -hmm. the area sorry so we know that the Euphrates River is here right so let me let me let me read on sorry <laughs> right uh, let me see first 14 Genesis 2 and 14 and the name of the third river is um, Hadikal Hidekal, Hidekal. So where is Hidekal? They would then therefore call this one uh, the word, the the name Tigris. Nowadays it's called Tigris, right? Here, Tigris River. Okay, Euphrates River states Euphrates until this day, I would I would think, and then Tigris is then therefore then um, he. He did what? He did Right. So here, 
you would then have this Hideka Euphrates, okay, that we know, and then this one goes so like this, but it it would go here. If if they didn't, we don't know if they messed around with it so much that it distorted it, but we have indications thereof because they uh, they destroy lands for money sake for money that's what they do they destroy lands for money's sake they make artificial streams and block off water from certain places to get certain places and then therefore the land will be destroyed the lord said in the book of revelation chapter 11 verse 18 and the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, which are the Israelites, and also the Israelites here. And them that fear thy name, which are the, the Israelites, again, that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And who does that? Like I said, all the so-called techno technologically advanced uh, nations what do they do they murder millions they kill millions of animals and millions of rainforest acres and stuff like that for what millions. acres of deforestation up to 420 millions of acres uh, sorry million acres of forest could be lost between 2010 and 2030 that's what they're doing this is what they're doing no nation is doing this upon the planet who the fuck is doing this upon the planet Earth? who who the other nations uh, they don't do this they just go chop a tree and, uh, and a few trees and then they make uh, uh, houses and stuff like that to live in rent free but what do they do? They come in your land and then they do shit like this. The fuck is this, man? What is this? They finna make some money with that. Because they're going to make them fancy mansions and them fancy things and this like that. And then they're going to sell it for millions of dollars and stuff like that. You know? This is what they're doing. This is exactly what they're doing. This is what they're doing. Who's doing this? They probably was looking for gold here because I can see the water. You know? This is what they're doing. And then they leave this behind. That's some real devil shit, bro. This doesn't even look right. Doesn't even look right, man. But <clears throat> then you, you have the common devil they want to force you to stop eating meat or something like that they want to force that the, there the, the devil goes again they want to force you to do what they are fucking doing uh, destroying the earth and then they want to make you uh, make a change about that what our people have been eating uh, meat for centuries thousands of years we never did this shit look at this shit man that's a desert that's a created desert man you know we, didn't, we, we don't do this shit we, we, we don't kill millions of animals and then do it for profit for money's sake because it's millions in there right? why don't you go uh, farm yourself why don't you go fish you can't fish because if you fish they're going to give you a ticket Ooh, you're depopulating the fish in the water no you are you just don't want me to be independent and uh, not rely on your devil ass with the things that you're putting in the food nowadays there's mercury in the fish man and if you don't know what mercury does why don't you ingest it see what happens to you you're gonna die by the way don't do it fish take up mercury from streams and oceans as they feed this mercury is in the more toxic form it binds to the proteins in this in the in the body such as proteins found in muscle tissue food processing uh, preparation and cooking techniques don't significantly reduce the amount of mercury in fish that's what you're doing that's what they're doing to you they, they're poisoning you they're poisoning everything and anything that's on your plate that's in your glass huh? anything and everything you think you're going to catch rainwater in certain countries is illegal uh, Let me 
me see. Collect rainwater. And I, I, I forgot which one it was. Let me see. 2012, California passed the Rain Capture Act, which made it legal to collect rainwater as long. So there's a comes a fucking prize. As long as you comply with state's water resource. Bro, what the fuck is this, bro? Whose water is it? What are they doing? Who are you? Satan. You can't even collect rainwater. Uh, without some kind of a bullshit uh, loss and shit. What, what the fuck what, what's going to happen? Is rain, we're going to run out of rainwater? Huh? What are you talking about, Willis? Satan. How much can be caught, collected? The state of California doesn't regulate the number of gallons of rainwater that homeowners can collect as long as there are no threats to public health. How the fuck can it be threats to me catching water from the sky? How can it be a threat? Don't make no sense. They just make up shit, man, as they go. And by the way, before 2012, it was illegal. Crazy. But there are certain, it may sound strange, but prior to 2012, the collection of rainwater was in, rainwater, rainwater, was in fact illegal. Yes. How, what? What? That, that's just crazy. This is crazy to me, man. You know? Can you go to jail collecting rainwater? But back in the days, you could. How can he put, how can he, it doesn't make no sense. But then again, you're dealing with a devil. So why would they make sense? Why would they make it good for you in life? Why? That would make, that would make this the paradise, right? But it's not because they are on rule of shit. As the Lord said, Proverbs chapter nine, verse two. No, 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 what is it? No, no, no. Where was it again? Uh, Proverbs 29. 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear the rule, the people mourn. So, who is in rule of shit right now? Who's the boss of the planet Earth? Who can shut up the planet Earth? Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's it. That's it. Luke 4. Everybody knows that when you go to Hollywood, you need to bow down to Satan to do some sacrificial thing. But nobody does anything about it. Luke chapter 4, verse 5. And the devil taking him up in a, in, in a high mountain, into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in the moment of time, like a hologram. Um, and all the kingdoms of the world, uh, including America. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. Who is owning all the world's, world's uh, governments right now? Putting up puppet leaders and stuff like that. And then the people find out and want to pull, uh, take them out of, pull them out of power. And then they threaten with war. Who does that? For this is delivered unto me. And to whomsoever I will, I give it. If that devil will worship me, all shall be thine. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship Yahweh thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. But anyway... Who's 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 doing the deforestation thing that I just showed you? And then uh, you know, if uh, the leaders of that those lands and stuff like that, right? If they don't comply, what happens to them? <laughs> what happens to them? All of a sudden they die. If they don't allow these Edomites to come in the land and take their shit, take their stuff, what happens to them? I'm looking for the picture of the deforestation, but um, probably click the word. Yeah, leave it. Anyway, uh, they they are allowing those type of things to happen because they are on the threat, right? So yeah, this is basically the video. I didn't come up with no accurate uh, accuracy concerning these places, but I will tell you that this region over here, which is this, let me see. You know, you have the land of Ethiopia. You have the land of Hava. What where is it again? Havila, which is Kush, uh, the land of Kush. Uh, no, 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 the land of Havila, which is the son of Kush. You have Kush itself, the land of Ethiopia. You have the Euphrates, right? So, then therefore, it would be then therefore. Wait, I'm sorry. No, here. Mm, it would be then the, this region, that that circle, what I just uh, pulled. Hidekal, right? This circle here. But uh, oh, oh, here, wait, there's a better one. You can say it was then here. 
this is the land of uh, this is eastward of the Garden of Eden here funny here this is this is it this this should this should be it um, this could be Havila mm, this could be but I don't know about the second river though because it does it does say it, it compasses the land of Havila and and the other one compasses the land of um, Kush so it, it could be this this could be a little bit more accurate then it would be basically this would be then eastward of the Garden of Eden right and everything started in the east and guess what where do you think middle or oh, sorry where do you think World War three is going to start right here in this region and if you don't believe it then uh, check your um, um, America compasses Iran military wise militarily mirror 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 militarily um, land map here no where is it here okay all the stars that you see make this better this is a better picture let me see okay I got a better one right and this is here the Israel which I just showed you here is uh, um, how you call that place again uh, Ethiopia Ethiopia is down here and I told you that this is the region of um, this is the region of um, uh, eastward of the Garden of Eden this is it this region and everything started there and now everything is going to end there because according to the book of uh, Ezekiel 38 the war is going to start here that war and along with Israel which is here these 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 the thieves and then this is this is the this is the setup so we already know that this must be it why because of the prophecies that's gonna come out and we already know it because we read about it the book of Ezekiel chapter 38 shows you that this is the battle of Armageddon uh, the troops uh, the, the mountain of troops this is and this is what they're doing they are already surrounding Iran, ready for that war. U.S. bases surrounding Iran. Why are they doing this? What do you think? They already set it up. So, here, on their news, here, on their news, Al Jazeera. Uh, U.S. bases around Iran. They already surrounded uh, Iran. Because they know they finally get, they, they want to get up in there. But they're looking for an excuse. But to start that World War Three, so we know that that is that region. It began with the with the Middle East, so-called Middle East, and it's gonna end there too, right? But uh, yeah, now you can uh, check it out for yourself if you have the time with all these places and stuff like that. I just wanted to show about you know the region and stuff like that, eastward of the Garden of Eden, and therefore I will also put in the description box these type of lands which. This to a certain degree, we I kind of agree with it to a certain degree, but I have found a better map. Well, not better. I have found an earlier map, right? Which is, mm -hmm. therefore, this one, which is on the side of it. As you can see here, you have Samaria here, 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 here. Then you have Dan here, and then you have Simeon here. So, uh, Simeon, and then beside it is Dan. And then Benjamin is here. So here is here is Dan, and then here is Benjamin, and here is Judah, E U Da. And I got a lighter one. And if you're racist, <laughs> no, I'm playing with you. I do have a lighter one. This is kind of dark, and this is the 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 salt sea, the sea here. Mara Mortuum, Mara Mortuum, thing I think. And um, yeah, and this is another sea over here, and as you can see. You can see the same thing here. They call it the Dead Sea, but it's the Salt Sea. It's the Salt Sea. And this one is also the Salt... Uh, but, oh, sorry, it's not the Salt Sea. It's another sea. And by the way, here you had Benjamin. Here you had... Uh, uh, sorry, here you had Benjamin. Here you had Judah. And here you had Dan. Dan, which is the same thing here. Dan is here. Um, here you have Benjamin. Here you have Judah. 
here you have Simeon, here you have Ephraim, Ephra, uh, so above, so here, sorry, here is Ephraim, Ephraim, and then here is Benjamin, right? So Ephraim and Benjamin are, are closer to each other. And here you have it again, Ephraim here and Benjamin here. So this is an ancient map of the year 1659, which I believe to be a more accurate map. I think somebody went somewhere high on a cave or so, not, not cave, a mountain, sorry, not a cave, a mountain. And then he took a land uh, thing, you know, and then he made this map, this person. And here you have, of course, the land of Edom. Here you have Moabites, as you can see here, M-O-A-B-I-T-I-S, which is on the other side of uh, Judah. And here you have Gad. So here you have, wait, here is Moabites and here is Gad. So let me go back to over here. Here's Moabite and here is Gad. Oh, let's skip Reuben. Where's Reuben doing? Here is Ammon. Uh, where is Reuben actually? No, 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 no. Here's Moab. The, yeah, Moabites used to be in that land before us, by the way. Um, Nathaniel. I don't, I don't see. Uh, Reuben. Okay, here's Moab, but it does it does say here Moabites, but. Hmm. Are you here? Yet. Hmm. Okay, I can't find it. Let me see here, maybe. Oh, here, here it is, Reuben. Ah, oh, got it. I got it. Yeah, light skin. <laughs> you, you dog skin niggas. I can't see you in the dark, nigga. Here's Reuben. Raises. You're raises, nigga. Right. Uh, as you can see, here's Reuben. Now I can see it a little bit better, too. Um, so that was that region over there. So, uh, of course, this map is a little bit different than we are used to, than I'm used to, by the way. And uh, the uh, I, I remember that the Dutch person made this map, but then if you put this map like this, or like this, then it would kind of make a little bit more sense compared to this, you know, right? Uh, Dutch depiction of uh, let me see Dutch depiction of Israel in nineteen so sorry sixteen five nine Dutch depiction Dutch. 1659, if I'm correct, right? Yes, so. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think I think this is it. Yeah. Here it is. It's a Dutch guy that did this. Hey, this is a little bit more lighter. Races, take it. You races. <laughs> Can't see dog niggas. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is a little bit different. Well, you can. I don't know what this is. It, it could be the same. A map showing Lebanon. No, it's not Israel. I thought so. Like, huh? It, it's, it's shape different. Well, you can go check this out for yourself if you have the time. Mm. I'll put the few links in the description box so you can check a few things out for yourself, of course. You know, if you have the time. And the rest you can go find for yourself. You, all you have to do is type this. And, <clears throat> and you will see that um, they did things before. And then afterward, they came back and then they rewrote the maps, you know, to make it look like they're bigger and they're better than you, uh, you dark, darker skinned people, by the way, that, that, that's what I mean with you. And of course, this is not, not that accurate compared to um, how they, compared to the rest of the world, you know, the formations of the world, that's the, I mean, the formations of of the lands and stuff like that how the land layout goes and of course I have another picture from Africa where did I put it I don't think I put it here right which is a great map wait let me let me get it which is this over here it's called Negro land map and it's a very big map by the way and here you can see Judah we 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 we, 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 we which is a slave coast Wida. The the, 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 the the kingdom of Judah is here it says here and these Caucasian people drew this map actually these devils did they did it it's their map 
dated it. And then you have somewhere here that says uh, um, Land of Benjamin, something like that. I forgot where it was. Man, I gotta go uh, look up all these things again because uh, I cannot actually. See. Oh, you're here, Benin, which is the the land of Benjamin, the kingdom of Benjamin. So you had the kingdom of Judah here, in the in the west coast interiors of Africa. That's why we know that. A lot of people in Congo, just a lot of people in the west coast of Africa are Israelites, you know, mingled in with the actual Hamites, mingled in with them, you know. So, but the Caucasian people, the Edomites, they used to call this land Negro land. Negro land, that's what they call it. Sierra Leone, all these places. Negro land is what they call it. Gold, gold Coast, Slave Coast. Why you think they call it Gold Coast? Why you think they call it Slave Coast? Because <laughs> there was a lot of gold there. Uh, and the Slave Coast is where they got a lot of uh, a big portion of the slaves. And uh, that's why you, you still have people in Sierra Leone right now until this day that are Israelites that stayed there and that think that they're Africans. Mm -hmm. But there's so many words here that I don't even... I don't even bother myself to go through all these words because it's just useless. <laughs> the reason I say oh here yeah yeah the reason I say it's useless is because well yeah I just I just know about the region man I just know about the region and I'm gonna keep it at that because it's too much it's too much to go up in here and stuff like that so yeah I'm gonna just leave it at that Mandingos until this day you have a, a movie called Mandingo which is our people again so it's not useless useless but you know, I already know that there are Israelites there. So, uh, yeah. Wait, wait. Let me say it different then. It's not useless, but I already know that there are Israelites here. So, I just go off of the spirit. You have the Akan, Akani, Kingdom of Akani, or Akan. So, I just go off of the spirit, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, uh, if you if you flock to this word you might be an Israelite, you know. And if not, I'm just I'm just keep it moving. Uh, yeah. Hey Gad. No Gago. Gago, kingdom of Gago. Where it be Gad? Because I have found also that there were uh African people that called themselves Gad. Uh, I made a video about that, but then um, it was the tribe of God. Let me see. Yeah, you had Manasseh here. Hmm. This is another map that I'm not a hundred percent familiar with. Hmm. Anyway, but uh, like I said, you had a tribe in um, West Africa that was saying that they're the, the Gadites and I believe that because there were of the tribes there were not a hundred percent of them that went to the Native American to, uh, to America sorry because you had also a tribe of Asher Luke in the book of Luke Luke chapter 2, verse 36. And there was one Anna, a prophetess, meaning a woman, uh, uh, on, um, a wife of a prophet, the daughter of Panuel. He was an Asherite of the tribe of Asher. So in the New Testament, you have at least one mention of the other tribes other than Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Because it was only speaking about Jews all the times, right? And Benjamin and Levi in the New Testament. Levi not so much, but Jew, Benjamin and Lu, Jew well. But it also mentions the book of uh, the tribe of Asher. So it shows you that, wait a minute, so they, there were Asher there. And for her to be born there and be, an, and be a Asher, that means her father was there. Because I explained to you that you are in the book of Numbers chapter 36. 
and 27 it explains to you that you are of the father of your child you are of the tribe of your father so if your father is uh, asher and your mother is naftali you're going to be a child of naftali and you're going to be in the land of naftali and take your mother to there right from your father's house from her father's house sorry so yeah but as i was saying uh, they changed lands okay they changed landscapes just like a beaver dam uh, this used to be the fertile crescent but it is, isn't anymore they uh, destroy lands for profit sake for money sake millions millions upon millions every day they change maps they make it look as if like you don't know what the hell is going on but like I said the other one would be a little bit more accurate especially concerning that they changed uh, the landscape over here so I don't know if this river actually goes here or not I don't know I've never been there but in the beginning of, of this video I already said like this is not for salvation's sake this is just a little bit to make you know that don't worry a hundred percent too much about this but I know it's interesting because it's interesting for me but like I said I cannot 100% prove everything that they say concerning the regions where the rivers go and stuff like that that's why I, I have this this uh, scripture right here first Corinthians chapter 13 verse 9 for we know in part and we prophesy in part but when that which is perfect has come is Shai, then that which is in part shall be done away so we're gonna find out so with that I'm gonna say Shalom